In this presentation, we will set up a zero 30 day free trial, perfect tool to work through our practice problem for a not for profit organization. Let's go with zero. Here we are on the zero homepage. That's xero.com. Xero.com. We're in the US page here because I'm in the US, but it'll be a similar kind of layout if you're in a different region. Obviously, on the homepage, we could see down here we, where it says try the zero free uh, for free. It also has the free trial up top. Let's first take a quick look at the pricing options and then we'll go into the free trial. So I'm going to go into the pricing options on the upper right. And then you can see the pricing options down here. We've got the $9 per month for the early and then the growing is the 30. This would probably be the middle item being the recommended type of item. If you're going with the early version, uh, it, you're not going to be able to do it for most companies because it's going to limit the amount of invoices. So you can only have five invoices and five bills that could be severely limiting unless you're in some kind of a special type of business where you don't need uh, those forms. So most businesses, I would think, would be in this uh, $30 range uh, in an ongoing setting. Again, we're going to set up the free trial to go through the practice problem so we can take a look at it. But I would think that most businesses would fall into this $30, uh, $30 one. It's going to be comparable if you, if you look at other type of softwares in a similar uh, range, such as a QuickBooks Online or a Sage Business Cloud, for example then uh, you probably want to compare kind of that middle range item. They all have that kind of similar pricing where they got that middle range where most companies would probably be, be in that recommended uh, type of area most of the time. So I'm going to go down here. We're going to do the free trial for this item, for the growing item. So we're going to go to the uh, try zero for free. So we'll go to the try zero for free. We should not need a credit card to complete this process, which again, great tool, great tool. So we're going to put in our information here. Once we enter the contact information, it will get this uh, reply, which says, uh, Robert, check your inbox. So I'm going to go to my email and check the old inbox. Once you go to the email address and go to the link within it, then it's going to ask you for some basic information, including the company name. We're just going to go with our example problem here, the not-for-profit organization, not-for-profit organization. Now note, Zero is a great software in that you can basically have different companies once you set up your file. So once you set up your file, you can actually have uh, choose multiple companies or have multiple companies within the display. So this one's the one we're going to use for our practice file as we go through and get used to the software for a not-for-profit organization. Where does your organization pay taxes? I'm going to say the United States. And then uh, what is your time zone? Then we're going to say that the institution is going to be the charitable institution. So I'm going to set it up as a charitable institution. I'm choosing the time zone where I happen to be, with the, which is the Pacific time. And then the prior software, I'll just choose, choose the QuickBooks Online. Now, then it says, do you want to convert your QuickBooks Online or your QuickBooks data for free? We're, gonna, we're not going to be converting the data file at this point in time. So that's going to be it. One of the key po components here being that charitable institution that could have an, an effect on the chart of accounts that could be set up uh, as we move forward. So it's going to give us some primary or uh, preliminary type of accounts that we can then add to as we move forward. So I'm then going to say start the trial. So we're going to say start the free trial. And there we have it. So now note up top, we have the not-for-profit organization. That's basically our company name. That's what we set up as our company name. If you select the drop-down, note that you have the demo uh, in, in the settings here. So we're actually in this company file, not-for-profit organization. But you can set up multiple company files, which again, really nice for practice. And uh, this file you will not have. I have this already set up. This is another file I've been working on. But then we have this uh, demo company. The demo company file is something that will always be there as well. It will be a demo file that will already have data within it. So if you select this drop down, you'll be in the not for profit organization. You can go to the to the demo file and you can add another file if you wanted to, to practice or set up another data file as you go. So I'm going to click back out of this. This is going to be our intro screen. We are on the dashboard. That's going to be the default as we go into this information. And that's going to be it for now. Let's get out of here.